The Lockheed C-5 Galaxy is a large military transport aircraft designed and built by Lockheed, and now maintained and upgraded by its successor, Lockheed Martin. It provides the United States Air Force with a heavy intercontinental range strategic airlift capability, one that can carry outsized and oversized loads, including all air certifiable cargo. The Galaxy has many similarities to the smaller Lockheed C-141 Starlifter, and the later Boeing C-17 Globemaster III. The C-5 is among the largest military aircraft in the world. C-5 Galaxy's development was complicated, including significant cost overruns, and Lockheed suffered significant financial difficulties. Shortly after entering service, cracks in the wings of many aircraft were discovered and the C-5 fleet was restricted in capability until corrective work was completed. The C-5M Super Galaxy is an upgraded version with new engines and modernized avionics designed to extend its service life beyond 2040. The USAF has operated the C-5 since 1969. In that time, the airlifter supported U.S. military operations in all major conflicts including Vietnam, Iraq, Yugoslavia, and Afghanistan, as well as Allied support, such as Israel during the Yom Kippur War and operations in the Gulf War. The Galaxy has also distributed humanitarian aid, provided disaster relief, and supported the U.S. space program. The C-5 is a large, high-wing cargo aircraft with a distinctive high T-tail fin, vertical, stabilizer, with 40 F-39 turbofan engines mounted on pylons beneath wings that are swept 25 degrees. The C-5M uses newer GE CF-6 engines. Similar in layout to its smaller predecessor, the C-141 Starlifter, the C-5 has 12 internal wing tanks and is equipped for aerial refueling. Above the plane-linked cargo deck is an upper deck for flight operations, and for seating 80 passengers in rear-facing seats, and the embarked loadmaster crew in forward-facing seats. Bay doors of both nose and tail open to enable drive through loading and unloading of cargo. The cargo hold of the C-5 is one foot longer than the entire length of the first powered flight by the Wright brothers at Kitty Hawk. For its voracious consumption of fuel, and its maintenance and reliability issues, the Galaxy's air crews have nicknamed it FRED, for ridiculous, economic environmental disaster. Takeoff and landing distance requirements for the plane at maximum load gross weight are 8,300 feet and 4,900 feet, respectively. Its high flotation main landing gear provides 28 wheels to distribute gross weight on paved or earth surfaces. The rear main landing gear can be made to caster to make a smaller turning radius and rotates 90 degrees after takeoff before being retracted. Kneeling landing gear permits lowering the aircraft when parked, thereby presenting the cargo deck at truck bed height to facilitate loading and unloading operations. The C-5 features a malfunction detection analysis and recording system to identify errors throughout the aircraft. The cargo compartment is 121 feet long, 13.5 feet high, and 19 feet wide, or just over 31,000 cubic feet. It can accommodate up to 36 463 L master pallets, or a mix of palletized cargo and vehicles. The nose and aft cargo bay doors open the full width and height of the cargo bay to maximize the efficient loading of oversized equipment. Full-width ramps enable loading double rows of vehicles from either end of the cargo hold. The C-5 Galaxy is capable of moving nearly every type of military combat equipment, including such bulky items as the Army Armored Vehicle, launched bridge, at 74 short tons, from the United States to any location on the globe, and of accommodating